Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Today's chart shows colder air moving across the northwest slope. As a result of that, winds and waves have come up. A high surf advisory is in effect for the northern and western Arctic coast from Utkiavik Barrow westward all the way down toward Point Hope and Point Lay. Waves may wash on top of the beach there. Strong winds and high surf will probably persist into Thursday. Watch for that elevated surf to erode parts of the shoreline and maybe push some debris higher up on the beach so boats and other objects near the high tide line uh, could be damaged there if they're not moved so be careful and watch for that condition should improve after one o'clock on thursday eastward we're expecting high winds to be fairly strong all the way through seven o'clock thursday morning southwesterly is about 30 to 40 miles per hour and gusts to 60 miles per hour may be possible around the Beaufort Seacoast region, including Kaktovik there. Those strong winds will continue this evening and likely start to diminish as we get through your Thursday morning. Behind that, it is going to be colder. You'll notice periods of rain and probably low stratus and fog. Uh, pretty usual for this time of the year as the colder air locks itself up across the regions north of the Brooks Range. Most of the rest of Alaska won't have a lot of that early fall taste of colder weather just yet. But things will remain unsettled. Low pressure will keep areas of showers across south central through Kodiak Island and the Alaska Peninsula. And warm and wet air will still be drawn up across the Aleutians. Watch for areas of fog and stratus to form as high pressure builds across the north and central parts of the Bering Sea. We're also watching in a region of high pressure across the eastern gulf. That's been sitting across parts of southeast. It will get out of the way for your Thursday weather with low pressure getting fairly close to high to Gwai. And weak areas of warmer weather trying to work its way up the outer coast probably won't be terribly successful at doing that but you'll see more clouds than anything else across the copper river valley south central the kenai peninsula and all the way down to kodiak showers will remain possible as we go through your thursday a decent westerly wind should be shaping up across the bering strait and through the yukon valley you'll notice a little bit of a breeze as we get into friday low pressure will move out of the western gulf at 992 millibars you'll see a strengthening southerly wind wrapping into kodiak island sandpoint and the alaska Peninsula. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.gov.